Hello, everybody. I'm here today with Calvin Fountain, owner of Peninsula Staffing. Hi, Calvin. Hi. How you doing? I'm hanging in there. Welcome to this week's Business Spotlight series. I really appreciate you taking the time with us today. And I'd like to roll right into the questions. Yes. Um, can you please tell us a bit about your business and how long you've been doing this? Um, I started Peninsula Staffing like three months ago, so it's pretty new. So um, our main focus is, is to help the community finding jobs and, and also military and um, disabled veterans. So that was like one of our main focus because when I was working like different agencies before, I, I was there and they seen, you know, a disabled veteran, veteran trying to, you know, trying to find a job and, and then they would just, okay, just apply and and I looked at that like, dang, why they try to help these people? So I took, a, um, you know, I took a step, try to help the community, try to have a stable um, work environment for our community. So that's one of our main things is trying to uplift the community. That's especially needed in these days and times. And I have to tell you, you sound like a real leader and just a take charge person who just wants to give. So um, I commend you for being so uh, visionary in, in your field. And um, what I'd like to ask you, because it sounds like you have two types of customers. You, you probably have those customers that you have to serve um, in various different types of businesses, as well as, um, you have to serve the community by providing jobs. So you're looking for people to work in those various um, jobs that you would get in different agencies. And then you would have to look for the agencies themselves. Yes. So, so who would be your ideal customer? Um, Our ideal customers is basically um, general labor, like Walmart, um, warehouses uh pretty much you know um businesses that that really need our staffing services so those were like one of the um main focus points of on um, who we're trying to look for and stuff like that we just trying to um we don't have no preferences of 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 who comes to us asking for our staff we just trying to the trying to deliver, um, just trying to help the um the community and also the businesses that need positions. Yeah, and I bet there are a few out there. You know, yes. with the COVID break, a lot of people, after not working, don't want to go back to work. So yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, and, um, and um, so that's why our main focus points is is is. It's the people that is trying to come back to work and also motivate the people that's also looking for jobs to um try to apply, try to get back to work because COVID really did, you know, mess up the economy in a really, really bad way. So I tried to to do my part and um just trying to and within my area to um to make us the stability for the our community. That's amazing. That's really, really awesome of you. Um, what I'd like to ask you is, can you share your greatest learning experience, um, that you have experienced as a business owner? Um, yes, online visibility, because if nobody sees you, don't nobody know you're a company, it's hard for people to find you. So that's one of our main things is trying to build an online presence to, to different companies and to um and also the the clients is trying to find a job so they can come to us and trust us that we'll be able to find them jobs. Wow, that is an incredible vision. I heard a lot of things there. I heard service, I heard customers, I heard businesses, I heard um trust. So um have you developed a culture based on those specific 
ideals and um, those specific trains of thought? Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, that's our, our main things is trust because, you know, if, if nobody trusts you, that they all automatically going to turn their head and stuff like that. So that's our main key points is trying to, to build trust within the community. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Um, so as a new business owner and a staffing agency, uh, what have been your biz biggest issues that you have overcome? Um, our biggest issues to overcome is basically um, marketing, because that's one of the um, main things, marketing, marketing and advertisements. So that's one of our... Um, our biggest things in trying to find an online visibility within our community. So that's one of the points because, you know, starting off, I had to work by myself. So I had to learn all these things on my own. So once you do the research and just put a little bit of forth into effort and, and into what you're applying, um, I, I definitely seen a big increase um, within our visibility with, within the market. Yes, I could definitely see that. And um, as a new business, I'm sure you have learned a lot that you could share with other people. So if you had any advice to give to anyone going into business right now, what would you tell them? The first thing is automatically research the market, research the market, knowing the customers that you're trying to reach and not just dive into something without knowing the outcome, not knowing the budget. So the biggest thing is trying to um, develop a business plan and really figure out, and you know, you might have to um, contact your colleagues and run it by them first and, and see what their um, input on it. But that's the biggest thing is business, um, researching the market, online visibility, and knowing your budget. And once you got all them things in place, everything will be a lot easier. You know, it's, it's still going to be a path knowing all that stuff. It's, it's just not to give up. That's the biggest thing because it's so hard starting not knowing. Uh, and also, don't quit your job trying to um, trying to run a business. Try to, um, is you know, have to meet between the lines because it, it costs a little bit to run the company. So also just try to keep your job and work your pace. Don't have nobody rush you. Just do it the best as you can and you'll have a good outcome. I agree with you 100%. You sound like you have um, a really good balance there between running the business and, you know, still be able, being able to maintain. Yes. I and, agree. Uh, I just want to commend you for that. That's amazing. Um, sounds like you have a lot of insight to offer other people. Um, so if you've learned anything about yourself on this journey, like a strength that you've learned, you didn't realize that you had, what would you say that is? Um, the strength not to give up, you know, because it's, it's always easy. If something not going your way, and if something not going like how you wanted to go it, to do it, it's just, just have the strength to trust the process and trust yourself. Um, because sometimes it's not going to go the way you want it to go. It's not, you're going to hear a whole lot of no's. You're going to hear people to ridicule you and, and all that certain types of stuff. So you're going to have to overcome that. So that's what I basically learned is basically trusting myself and also trusting the people around you that love you and that do care. That is absolutely right. I love your thought there on perseverance because so many times as a business owner, um, people will tell you, are you crazy? What are you doing? You know, and um, you just kind of have to mute that negativity in order to continue on with your vision. And just because you have a big, bigger vision than most people around you who just work their daily jobs doesn't mean you don't have have the the drive and it doesn't mean that you don't have the possibility that everybody else has that owns their own businesses just because you don't want to be an employee doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you you know what yes. i mean 
Yes, ma'am, I agree. Some people, you know, some people are just, they're caught in that employee circle that they don't see past that. And what you're doing is you're starting your own business and you're helping the community. You are an addition to the community. So that yes, is spectacular. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thank you so much, ma'am. I really appreciate it. Taking your taking your time out and um talking to me. And so any I input I can you. give, any input I can give to help somebody else, that's a plus in my book. So can you please tell me um what the future of peninsula staffing looks like? If you can imagine peninsula staffing in the future in the perfect setting, the way you want it all laid out, what does it look like? How big is it? Um, the future, I would like to expand, also have other um, layout of um, structure foundation so I can able to franchise the, the different areas that, that, might, that might can't reach at the time or, and they might want to partner up with me. And um and also just helping the community the biggest way I can. So more people that I help find a job or if I help, you know, people to take off the streets, that's, that's you know, that's the future for me. So that's, that's my biggest point is, um is trying to help the community the best way I can. That's, that's my future at the time. And also the future is basically the metaverse. So, I, I try, like, I've been talking to a couple colleagues about putting my staffing agency in the metaverse so I can basically staff people in the different different continents and stuff like that as well. So that's another path for me in the future is the metaverse. That is wonderful. I mean, that's really interesting. And I appreciate you answering that question so very honestly. Um, so one final question for you today, Calvin. Are there any offers or opportunities that you would like to include in our newsletter? Um, yes, the different businesses that need professionals. Um, we have a whole bunch of skilled labor candidates that send resumes that, um, that apply and um, looking for jobs. So we, we'll do the best I can to assist you and um, Contact us. Our website is www.peninsulastaffingllc.com. All our information. If you want to reach out and see who we um our candidates, our resumes that you need, and also try to um help the disabled veterans that's 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 need help because we um we try to apply, we try to um work with them as well, try to do what we can. So anything can help. So that's pretty much it. That is wonderful. Um, I'm glad that our listeners will be hearing that so that you can get a little bit more um, momentum from this interview for your business. Thank you so much for having me as well.